Welcome to American Patriot News. I'm Romeo. Today I have an update for you on the uh, Hunter Biden saga. Let's take a look at just the news. Hunter Biden's legal team rejects the GOP House Oversight Panel request for bank communication records. The panel says its mission is to probe domestic and international business dealings to determine whether these activities compromise U.S. national security. Hunter Biden and his legal team are denying a request by the Republican-led House Oversight Committee for Bank and Communication records, records, arguing the panel lacks oversight basis. Hunter Biden, the son of President Biden, has recently changed his legal strategy amid Republicans and others' requests for materials in large part regarding his questionable overseas dealings, business dealings, taking a more assertive posture on allegations his overseas business dealings compromised U.S. national security and his father's ability to leave it lead impartially. Biden legal counsel Abe Lowell on Thursday told House uh, told House Committee on Oversight and Accountability Chairman James Comer his panel quote lacks a legitimate legislative purpose and oversight basis for requesting such records from Mr. Biden, who is a private citizen. Close quote. Comer has requested unclassified documents records and communications between Hunter, the president's brother, James Biden, and the family's business partner, Eric Schwern. Some of the records requested reportedly include communications among business associates and family members, including the president. Rather than engage with you over a back and forth letter writing campaigns or any formal proceedings, I would offer to sit with you and your staff to see whether Mr. Biden has information that may inform some legitimate legislative purpose and be helpful to the committee, Lowell also reportedly said in the letter. Hunter Biden also faces a federal criminal investigation that reportedly focused on tax and other issues. The committee calls its probe the Biden Family Investigation and on its official webpage says it started, its stated mission is to look into the Biden family's domestic and international business dealings to determine whether these activities compromise U.S. national security and President Biden's ability to lead impartially. Members of the Biden family have a pattern of peddling access to the highest levels of the government to enrich themselves often to the detriment of U.S. interests. And that's the end of the article. So this is actually really interesting. Hunter Biden comes out and his attorneys get all aggressive and talk about how they're going to sue everybody. I just, that's fantasy land. And I think it was a it was done without White House approval as well, because there's no way the White House wanted this story on the front page of the news for the next three months. But Hunter managed to do that for his dad by having his attorneys be aggressive when this moron took his laptop that he was doing an untold number of illegal things with to a repair shop signed a slip that said, if I don't come back and pay my bill and get my property, my property belongs to the owner, and then never came back for his property with literally state secrets on it. So, I mean, this is dumb and dumber doesn't even begin to expose the Bidens. Guys, have a wonderful day, and Matt and I will continue to bring you the news as it happens.